This video is going to be a response to a very specific question that I received. It's a very recent question. The person's name is Sadman, and the subject is functional analysis advice. And it's a really interesting question, so I wanted to make a quick video to respond to it because I, I do have an answer. So the message reads as follows. Oh, and if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment. Uh, in the comment section below. It really helps other people, especially um, any, any advice you can give this person, I think, could be helpful. So the message reads as follows. Hi, Math Sorcerer. I am an undergraduate student of pure mathematics in the US. I want to do grad school in pure math as well. I have been watching your videos for a while now, and I wanted your advice on my decision to self-study functional analysis. Currently, I'm, in taking, I'm, I'm taking a second course on real analysis. I've had some intro level complex analysis with point set topology as well. I think I am ready to take on functional analysis now. However, I know that this is essentially a graduate level topic and the subject is very broad. So I have the following questions for you. One, I am thinking of using the text Introductory Functional Analysis with Applications by Erwin Kreisig. I've already watched a review video of this book. However, since I'm going to self-study the subject, I wanted to know how much of the book you would study for a first course in functional analysis. Two, secondly, how many hours a week do you think I should invest for essentially for a essentially graduate topic like this? I would be very glad if you can answer my questions. P.S. If you decide to post this as a video, you can call me SR or Sadman Rahman, whichever is easier to pronounce. Okay, Sadman. Um, so, yes, uh, I do have advice. I can't answer your question. So I actually have the book right here. Here is my copy. This is the International Student Edition of Kreisig's Introductory Functional Analysis with Applications. And the book is awesome. So this book is fantastic for anyone who is interested in a learning functional analysis. And here you can see it gives you kind of like a flow chart. So I would say definitely chapters one, two, three, and four, and then maybe five or seven. That would be my advice. So definitely one through four if you can make it, and then either five or seven is up to you. But um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I think one of the things you're gonna really like about self-studying functional analysis is that it, there's gonna be a lot of overlap. For example, you've probably already seen metric spaces. So you're gonna see it here again, and it's gonna feel really good because you're gonna know how to do some of these things. You're gonna understand the definitions. Um, you're just gonna feel like a monster when you pick up this book because you've had so much math and you're coming into this. It's gonna be a good experience, I think. This book also has plenty of answers, and they're not just answers, you know, they're solutions. He'll, he'll actually give you, um, you know, he gives you, you know, solutions to some of the problems. It would be really nice if you can get more answers. That would be really great. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe on the internet, um, that would be a place to find more answers. Uh, maybe just Google some, someone, maybe someone has like some uploaded homework answers or something. Um, I don't know if there's a, like a full solutions manual to this book. That would be incredible because I'm trying to think of you as, you know, what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be self-studying functional analysis from this book. Don't get discouraged. Um, you ask how long should you spend uh, going over the material of this book? Let me just read your question again. It was, how many hours a week do you think I should invest for a topic like this? I would be very glad if you can answer my questions. Yeah, so I, I honestly... I mean, the more you can spend and, you know, keep the rest of your life intact and stay motivated and not burn out, that is what you should spend. Um, I, I would start with just start, start with one session, start with an hour, see how it goes. And maybe you can just do like an hour a day. I know that sounds like very little, but you don't want to burn out. Um, you can do more. Um, it's, it's tough to do something every day, but you definitely want to get into some type of routine where it's, it's just like a habit now. Like you're, you're waking up in the morning and the first thing you're doing is 30 minutes of mathematics or, you know, every day before lunch, you do 30 minutes of mathematics, try to turn it into something that you do normally. And I think you'll be, um, really successful, but honestly, 
anything you learn, even if you only make it through chapter one of this book, is better than nothing. And that's probably not what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, I want to read the whole book. I'm going to master everything. But you should try to do that. But if you fail, like let's just say you only make it through chapter one. That's okay. The knowledge you gain, even from just one chapter, is incredible. Even from just 30 minutes. Even if you just sat, sat, sat down for 30 minutes or an hour, an hour with this book and did you know maybe two proofs and read a little bit and did an example, you would learn things and you would remember that experience for a very long time. And that'll help you. So when you do take functional analysis in grad school, um, you you can be better. This book is really cool and functional analysis is really cool because it has a lot of topics from different areas of math. And so again, you're going to see things that come up from other, other fields that you've studied, which makes it super, super cool. Uh, for those of you watching this video that um, don't know functional analysis, if you're interested in learning functional analysis, um, you do need to know how to write proofs. You need, you need to have some math background, right? So this is a graduate level course. But if you've already had uh, some some serious mathematics, um, this is not too bad. Again, this person, Sadman Rahman, uh, has already had, okay, so they've already had uh, a course on real analysis. They're taking their second course on real analysis. They've had an intro course on complex analysis with point set topology as well. So um, they've, they've had some advanced mathematics. They know how to write proofs. They know how to read math books. Um, they have a higher level of mathem mathematical maturity. And if you come to this book with some math knowledge, so if you know some math and you jump into this book, it's the perfect book for you. This book is difficult and it's not good if, if you don't have a lot of math. So like if you don't know analysis, like if you don't know how to write proofs, if, you know, if you can't look at an, a simple analysis proof and say, yeah, I can prove that or, you know, someone can ask you for an example in a specific thing. You say, oh yeah, that's a, here's an example of a topological space that has this property or here's an example of a ring. You know, you, you need to have some, some mathematics behind you. If you have that, then you can jump into this. If you don't, um, you're going to struggle some more, but great book. And hopefully my response uh, has been helpful. If anyone else has advice uh, on functional analysis uh, for this person, maybe other books. Um, there are other books, in my opinion, uh, this one here, uh, the one by Erwin Kreisig is probably, this is probably the easiest one. I bought the international edition. I really didn't want to. Um, it's just, I just, at the time, money was really tight for some reason, um, probably because I was a student. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but this still was not that inexpensive. I remember still having to pay quite a bit um, for the book. It wasn't like, it wasn't like $10. It was a little bit more. I don't know what the prices of this book are today. I bought this book many, many years ago. I mean, we're talking over a decade ago. So I've had this book for a very long time. Excellent book. Anyways, hopefully it's been helpful. Until next time, good luck. Take care.